Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm one of the co-owners of the Lampo Dance Studio Singapore. Yeah, well, um, pole in itself, it was a passion that I discovered. Um, and that's also where I met my partner Celeste. So we've been doing pole really seriously for maybe about four years now. And um, I think we have learned, I mean, as students, we actually really know over time what we like, what we didn't like about pole studios. So it was really something that for me personally, I wanted to contribute to the pole community because, I mean, the, in Singapore, the pioneers of the pole, uh, they've done really a lot of work. And I mean, it's taken pole to, in Singapore to a state where it's now much more recognized. Um, so personally for me, I felt that I wanted to contribute to it as well. And why Milan um, specifically? Uh, with Milan Pole Dance Studio, what we really liked was not just the fact that their style is a little bit different from what we have in the market right now. Their style is a lot more around contemporary, you know, you can see, you still be sexy if you want to, you can do it uh, as a fitness, so it's a multifaceted kind of uh, offering that we have. And what we also like is the business model as well, because we have really world-class instructors all over in, five, in four of the studios. And now in the fifth one, we're also trying to do the same. And um, we really would like to offer the kind of training, the world-class training um, from Milan to Singapore and Singapore being the first stop in Asia. Yeah, so um, when my partner Celeste and I, we, we thought about opening a home studio, we do understand that Singapore as a market is a bit more developed than the rest of the countries in Asia. So basically, when we looked at opening a studio, we wanted something that is an established brand. And Milan is a good choice because it's a global brand. It's the only one that actually has studios worldwide. And you know they have access to a lot of very strong instructors. Um, and the syllabus is very robust. So that's what we really like about them. And how we came about Milan is that it was really a chance thing when we met the founder, Crystal, um, at the summer pole camp in the Caribbean. And from there, things just, things just took off the ground. Mm, well, um, I think I learned that I am stubborn um, because this is not the first time I'm, I'm trying to do my own thing. But it's also something that um, I'm proud of because the stubbornness and persistence actually kept me going when and the passion for things, I mean I really believe in the products that I sell, the services that I have. It's that that, that keeps me going when things are not going so well. And um, I think I'm also able to really realize how resourcefulness is important. So you use up all your friendship from favors and points and the support network is really important for, for me so I'm really appreciative of that. Yeah. Well clearly financial factors were top in our sort of considerations because at the end of the day this is a business it has to make sense but I would say equally important is actually really our passion. Um, I think Paul is here to stay definitely I won't be in this business, but at the end, at the end of the day, I think, um, like I said, pole has become much more multifaceted. Maybe previously, pole, we've definitely moved out of the pole is sleazy only strip clubs phase. It's gotten a bit better in terms of being fitness, dance kind of um, um, sport, and I think Singapore, while it's a small market, I think more people. Are stepping up to it. Um, one of the trends we do see is we have more men in our classes, which is amazing. I think it's also contributed by now new alternative types of fitness like TRX, or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you know, the hardcore MMA stuff. So it's gone into little pockets of niche demand in, in the 
fitness industry and Paul will be one of them and there are more people also interested in the aerial discipline so things like the circus acts that we offer um, different things to really basically have fun but work out at the same time so um, when we see ourselves in the next three years well we're definitely here to stay yeah and hopefully we can continue you know, to grow our base of students and really spread the word when it comes to Paul and Ariel and uh, hopefully you know, we can really groom the talents we have in Singapore and wider also in Asia to really have be part of the whole global stage when it comes to Paul and Ariel and hopefully we can expand Living a good life well, I think living a good life means that you're really healthy um, and basically really taking care of yourself and your family. That's ultimately the most important thing to me.